morning, good morning. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this video today. It's been two years since people have been asking me for this video, that's crazy. It's finally the house tour, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I was waiting to um, just have everything together, like all of my furniture and everything, but that never happened. And I'm moving now. So I never had the chance to do the decorations I wanted in this house, and now I'm moving. Yeah, I'm bad. Um, <laughs> so in this video, I'll be doing a house tour, but also an update on where I'm moving. Am I moving to Mexico? Am I moving to Canada? Or am I doing both? Like, what am I doing? And I have an appointment today on Zoom, and that's very exciting because I might be signing for a new land. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's in your YouTube video without in your Oaka apparel kit? I know this color is... Oh my gosh, I might launch it this week. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments when should I launch this color. Okay, so here we have in the corner, Wolfie and Christo. What are you guys doing? What is that? Oh, she's eating cereals? Hello, Dudu. You're eating. So fun. <laughs> and Royce is just like, yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> Racy always tries to steal all of her food. Racy, you're the worst. Oh, and now I'm filming, so Luna is jealous. Huh? Just I, I can, like use the wall. You're always jealous when I'm not filming you. Wait, I love you. <laughs> Dupi, it looks like you're eating poop. Look at me, Dupi. You like it? Oh, my man, you don't even know how to push it out. You will need Crystal's help for that. Luna. Luna, t'es vraiment un gros bébé. Oui, t'es un gros bébé. Hello, welcome. Ok, go viens, go le faire voir. Hello. Hello. Ok, so Christo is now filming the house tour. So welcome to my house. When you enter, it's like this. That's the view. Yeah, I'm kind of sad because it's not even sunny today and. It's been such a long time since I want to film this video and every time I'm like, oh, it's not sunny and I find myself a reason and today I was really feeling it and then I was like, oh no, it's not sunny so I won't film it and then I was like, no, Eli, you're not doing that again. So now I'm filming anyway and you'll see in my stories anyway what it looks like when it's super sunny because it's even prettier. So when you enter... Uh, Luna, okay, whenever we're filming, Luna might do that the whole video because whenever we're filming, she's like, film me, film me, film me. So yeah, that's Luna. Um, here we have a space um, when you enter to put your shoes or anything. I wanted to put like maybe some storage or something to put like all the shoes on or just a seat like right here or just a space. I'll show you a photo of what my interior designer did and I put her Instagram. Right here, she did that, but finally since I'm moving, we're not doing it, but that was such a cool idea. Um, then we have some really big wardrobe. There's two doors and a lot of space for a lot of things. I put pretty much anything in there. That's kind of embarrassing, if I can say. Okay, then we continue, we go up two stairs. So here we have the salon. Wow. Luna, please stop. Here we have the TV spot. And what's cool is that there's some lights around. Like, I don't know if you can see it. It's better at night, but there's some lights and I can put them at any, like I can change how intense it is. I'm showing the <laughs> like changing this, ooh, okay, party, um, no, I'll close it, and there's like these type of lights also on the stairs right here, as you can see, so for example, if I move that, um, you didn't know where to film, right? Huh? You didn't know where to film, right? No. I could see you just moving around. Film to the stairs. That's how it is. Here we have my Christmas tree. Uh, it's still there even though we're in February. But I was not here for Christmas. We left in like 
mid-November and we were supposed to come back in early December but finally we didn't so we just came back and I love the Christmas vibe so that's why all of the Christmas things are still there so I'm not even sorry about that so here we have all of the kitchen kind of corner and just like the middle I wanted to have like a really huge house um, not necessarily the rooms and everything but more like the common space because I have two huskies so that's a lot of energy and they like to run around and everything and having like kids I'll probably have like the same kind of big space here in my next house that's a really huge space even though like I added this and just to tell you this is like twice the size of a baby park because we ordered like two times this and two times the thing on the floor so it's like really big for Wolfie Dupi and she's really happy about that right baby? <laughs> no reaction. Here we have the kitchen table. Um, not much to say, it's not clean at all. Uh, but yeah, so there's still like so much space in the corner here. I have like my Valeurs Electrique right here. You don't need to show it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just saying it's right there. Just to say that there's a lot of space even in the back here. So this like area has so much space, which is just so nice when you have kids or Dogs. <laughs> so then we have the kitchen right here. I didn't even clean the counter. <laughs> we have the big counter in the kitchen. I don't even cook, but I was always like a big fan of like huge kitchen. So I really wanted to have one and I'm really hoping that one day I can cook or one day I have because I was planning to stay here uh, through all of my kids like growing up and everything and I was planning to have like five or six kids. But finally, it's not the case, so we're not gonna get into this subject. But yeah, so I wanted to have something really big. So imagine like me, myself, with like six kids preparing the lunch in the morning, putting everything in each box and blah, blah. Yeah, never happened. Um, so now we're moving and I'll probably get something the same size as this one because I feel like it's super big, it has so much space. And I just love that. I love big things. I mean, talking about house, housing, whatever. So here we have the lavabo. I didn't want to have a huge one. Um, at my parents' place, we used to have like a really huge lavabo and the only thing that I was doing it was that all of the, the, the dirty stuff was just compiling more and more and more. So now I have like a normal size lavabo and I feel like it's perfect. Otherwise, I would leave all the dirty stuff in there till it would be like so full and then it would take me so much time so at least now I have to do it every like two or three days minimum so that's a good thing for me like I'm not organized enough to have very few ones there's a lot of space also oh my god I need to show that though <laughs> so this morning I got a delivery of celebration cookies those are like my favorite and I made stories about it and then the company sent me more and they sent me like some exclusive stuff so I have some limited edition s'mores celebration cookies like can you explain me that and like strawberry cream truffle I mean what this is all like from the client I have even more boxes here like in the back and here is also what it is yeah uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> here once again we have like a big space, there's like all of the dog things. There's here, there's like a big pot. I got it at Marshall, that's like the best thing ever. Not Marshall, uh, HomeSense. It's like the best thing they ever invented. So instead of having like the bags of the food for the dogs, you just put all the food in there and then it looks nice. And yeah. Um, this is also, I also got this at, everyone keep asking me about this, I also got it at HomeSense. Here once again we have like a big space, I wanted to put like a really big lamp or anything like that but I didn't have time to find the right one, I didn't, just didn't take that to do it. So now there's Christmas decorations but maybe one day and also here like I, like I thought about, before having the house I was super excited, then when I got the house things got pretty I got really busy and then things got really bad so I didn't, I never took time to decorate actually but I knew I wanted to have like a huge 
lamp or like something really beautiful here so I added some clogs like on the floor so for example that's like a clog so you can um, charge like like just plug the lamp <laughs> and same thing in the salon I forgot to say I also thought about these kind of things for example you have a couch and here there's a place to charge your things so there's a charger so when you're on the couch you can charge your phone or anything since it's not like close to a wall it's okay is it okay okay now we'll go see the rooms oh well here <laughs> I have a small bathroom but every time I receive new samples I just put it in there or like products I need to try for collabs I just put it in there Luna please be nice okay si tu veux, si tu veux faire filmer, bien. okay so here in this bathroom I just have Okay, give me the camera. I'll film it because we won't be able to get in there. Two people. Really nice. I wanted to have something really like original or just do some fantasy because it's a small bathroom. So I was just trying. So here's the small bathroom. Um, and here's all of my stuff. <laughs> There's just so many things. This is like, it's kind of big. Like it's a big small bathroom. But because of all this stuff, it looks super small. <laughs> So we're not gonna stay there for too long. <laughs> oh, for the next step, we go in my room, we go this way, oh, and by the way, this, I really don't like it, I hate it so much, I think it's so ugly and this thing too. Um, basically all of these, uh, I was not the one to choose them, but I was really happy to let the other person choose it, but now that I'm alone in the house, I can finally see it, I think it's so ugly. So I'll just remove like, because this is beautiful, but I'll remove these, um, but I really hate like this whole thing. So I'll probably have like the flowers and like the kind of tree in Luna. Yeah, if you want to be filmed, you come in the video. That's, that's it. That's all you gotta do. So yeah, I'll probably have this going in Wolfie's room. Should I show you Wolfie's room now? Yeah, I'll show you what's going on with Wolfie's room. Um, right now it's such a mess. But I think it would fit super good in Wolfie's room and not here, because it just doesn't fit. So, let's go this way. We have a small corridor and then we go up two stairs. Um, and after those two stairs, oh, there's a bra. Sorry about that. And this is all like decorations that are going to go in Wolfie's room, but for now, the one and only reveal. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a mess now. As you can see, there's a lot of construction things because we have put the wallpaper. The wallpaper is so beautiful. I just really wish so, so, so bad that the people that are gonna buy this house are gonna keep it and maybe have like someone who will want a room with it because it's so pretty. It looks like a fairy tale and it's just all over the room. Um, even like those are just super beautiful, like soaping. That's like all I was imagining for Wolfie's room. Um, also, look for example at this mirror, okay? Okay. Okay, so you have this mirror that fits super good with the wall. Then like those kind of decorations, like super cute for like a baby girl room. Yeah, her bed is like in this color, which is super beautiful. And it's all like worked and everything. It's gonna be super nice, but sadly we're moving and I'm probably gonna buy the same. It was just super expensive, so that's <laughs> that's another thing. Like I hope that people are gonna like it because it was super expensive and no one stayed here from now. So I'll probably get the same one in the next house. But for now, I'm just really sad because that's really what I wanted for Wolfie's room. So yeah, um, and I feel also it was super original because whenever I was because at first I was looking on Pinterest for like some or like Instagram for like some inspos for like baby rooms and it was always like all beige and like super neutral and I don't know so and my mom worked in educate like uh, 
she worked with babies and studied in education. I don't know what's the word in English, but she studied in that and she was like, it's not even good to have like two neutral rooms and everything because babies need like color and everything. So now obviously there's just beige on the wall and some like butterflies and blah, blah, blah and a bit of pink here. But I wanted to have like so many colors, like butterflies of every color, like from the wall and have like a big light full of like flowers and everything. But yeah, I don't want to say too much because we might do this decor into her next room. So I'm not going to say too much. Oh, I just grabbed a little thing. She wanted to drink some milk. But we're going to go see my room. Um, that's going to be super nice. And you? Boy. And you? Oh, she's laughing. She thinks it's fun. Whoopilu. I won't spend too long there because I showed you most of it in my last video. But pa, 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 pa. it's super dark right now because I have like I have those tinted because I wanted to be able to sleep during the day. But I'm gonna open them and it's electric. Like I have I have like this magnet and it opens them electrically and then the magic happens. Yeah, that's super nice. And it comes with the house, because the house is for sale. Well, it will be for sale. Um, not at the moment that I, that I post the video. But as soon as it is, I'll add the link to the description so you can go check it out. Uh, but yeah. So if you're watching this video not up to date, then it might be in the description. So yeah, now it's opening. Ba, 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 ba. So the thing with the room is that it is really big but it looks kind of small because this bed frame like I really loved it in the store because it was so big and I love main things but then when you bring it to the room it's just so huge because it's made for like a king size mattress so now I have a queen size on it because someone was staying at my house and they they got a new one because the other one was broken but then it was not the right size, they got a queen size, but it's supposed to be a king size. So that's why like there's like a space here. But uh, if you open here, you see that it like it it has the size of a king bed, which is already super big, but then it goes like longer here, longer here, and it does that on each size. So this bed frame is just taking all the space in the room which is super annoying so i might change it for my next room because i don't want a room bigger than this one it's like super big on this side we have this that i'm using as a changing table for wolfie uh but i have to admit i don't really use a changing table i most of the time just change her like in my bed because she doesn't really poop or pee while i'm changing her like she waits till she has her diaper, so nothing really happens, so I just change her there. Um, so here, yeah, we have this, this beautiful, beautiful one, this is Wolfie. Yeah, it's really her, I got it printed on this. I'll put uh, the Instagram of the company right here, because so many people have been asking me. But yeah, this is like my favorite thing in the room. I feel like it's sort of original, I've never seen that. Um, basically, my friend got some uh, toile printed like that. And then I was like, oh my god, I want that too. But she got like images printed and I was like, what could I do? And I thought like this was such a good idea because it's like kind of abstract, but also like so meaningful. We have a little corner. It was supposed to be my breastfeeding spot. So that's why it's like a chair like that. And it's just, I don't know. But I never used it because I like Wolfie. Oh, she fell asleep. Doopy. She fell asleep um so yeah as you can see she's super easy like i can breastfeed while walking in the room she will fall asleep she's just such an easy baby and i'm i think i'm also really easy like i can do a lot of stuff while breastfeeding her or like i can hold her and like do like almost everything in the house so, like i never use like you know like the, the thing that you put and you put your baby in there like the the straps or whatever um i never use that like i just love having her in my arms and i have a lot of energy i think i don't know like maybe because i'm a young mom i don't know but i never use this corner <laughs> never happened i'll just go this way to show you real quick the wardrobe which is not in order right now because i just came back 
from a trip so I left everything just on the floor right here and I just need to put it in my uh, in my arrangement so here you can come I wanted to have like not a door but a big uh, rideau <laughs> I'll write the word down a big rideau there just to uh, split both parts but yeah it's super big it goes all the way here but, ow what is that I really love that ow ça me fait mal ça. I'm so sad because it's now <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be for so long, it's like up to maximum six months, but I stayed here at home for like two months and a half and then we left for Mexico and we stayed there. So she barely used it and oh my gosh, I did all I could to find it. I got it shipped from like so far, like just the shipping cost me even more than the bed actually, because um, it was not possible to have one here in Quebec. But yeah, finally I got it, but it didn't last long, sadly. So here we come in the bathroom and I have some like broken walls and everything um, uh, for some reasons and uh, they will be all fixed uh, as soon as my quarantine is done I'll have someone coming over and he will fix all of the because I have like also some like holes in the walls and things like that which is just super annoying it's not because the walls are cheap by the way it's just because um, because of life. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, the walls are not cheap or anything, it's just, uh, you just have to be gentle with doors, that's all I have to say. Um, not too gentle, just normally gentle with doors. I, I, want, I don't want to talk about it, but I don't, also don't want my house to look cheap because it's not. Um, but yeah, so here we have a door that opens this way and we come in the bathroom, which is not clean at all, <laughs> but um, I just love how like the mirror goes up like higher up and it's so beautiful and also the marble, I wanted it to be all over the room, so if you turn around, it's just all over the bathroom. Just like the shower just full of black marble is so beautiful i really love it and yeah that's pretty much it there's a lot of space to put your towels right here and just everything under the counter so the counter is just really well nice organized oh, the sun came out just a little bit and that's the moment we go in the basement why does this always happen to me whenever I film a video? But at least you can see a little bit of what it looks like when the sun is out. It's just super beautiful and so sunny in the house. Luna! Luna! So now we go downstairs in the basement. I literally have no idea how it's gonna look like right now because someone was staying here while I was not there. So I don't know how they actually left it, like is it gonna be super clean or is it gonna be such a mess? We don't know. So the basement is done, uh, it's all, how do I open it? I never come here so I don't even know where the lights are, are. Well, I really don't know where they are. Here we have like a huge space, it was supposed to be a playroom for We'll see and I wanted to add like so many colors to this wall because it's like super big and there's just so much space, it's just so big. Um, but yeah, finally we won't have time to do it. <laughs> then uh, here we have very simple, that's basically just a room, super nice and there's a wardrobe right here, very simple, very nice. I don't have much to say and also like my sister. The, the the plafond is uh, higher, so it's not like the normal sous-sol, so that's why there's like huge windows even on the sous-sol, because I didn't want to have like a, a small sous-sol that you feel like you're compressed, oppressed, or whatever. So this one is pretty big and there's like big windows, which is super nice and convenient. So it doesn't feel too much like it's a basement, you know. So here we go this way, we have electrical room but even in the electrical room there's a lot of space for uh, just putting a lot of things so it goes like all the way this way and you can put a lot of stuff 
Right, see? No. Come on. This way. This is just those luggage. This way we have the the laundry room, so it's not done. But as you can see, there's so much space all in here. It's super big. Here in the corner we have like a big, big space, but I can show you because there's some secret stuff going on right here. So, yeah. Here we have another big room. It's a big, big room, but actually I put the giant uh, dog space. So whenever I leave, no, I don't do it anymore because Royce and Luna are really not the type to destroy the house. They actually don't touch anything. So now I don't use it anymore, but I used to have to put them in here while I was away, just in case they would destroy the house. Once again, there's another room. It used to be a music studio. So here there's like a wardrobe, just like the one in my room. And once again, it's super big, like this couch is just so huge and it doesn't even take all of the space. So that's very perfect. Oh, and I forgot to show you, next to the laundry room, there's another full bathroom. So with a shower, toilet, lavabo. I never really came here, so never used it. I mean, I'm alone in the house, but that's the bathroom that Fusto is using for his stuff. We're not gonna be able to enter, but there's like so much, like all of the rest of the house space is just full of boxes and everything. So it's just to put all of my, all of my stuff. Everything is going in there and it enters pretty fine and there's still space. So there's a lot of space for just convenience. Then when you enter from the garage, you have like a small wardrobe right here that I'm not using because I'm not really entering for, from here because I haven't been out since uh, we left. Um, here we have a garage with my mom's car. <laughs> so that's my mom's car and we have, it's a double space garage. Uh, but now there's just so many things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is pretty much it for the house tour. It's super full of light. I'm so sad. There was literally no sun when I started and now there's just full of sun. Something I forgot to say is that there's no like, there's space here to have some uh, lamps like going down here, but I never had time. And also same thing for the kitchen table and same thing in the salon. So the holes are there if you want to add some. Um, and it's also like very needed, but I never had time to add any. And it's just super like empty right now because I never took time to decorate. But yeah, that's pretty much the house tour, but now I'm moving. So there's no like point on decorating. So, I think that's pretty much it. Bye. No, not bye. Like I'm gonna have an update now. So now let's go to the house update. I haven't had my meeting now, but I'll have it in about 30 minutes and then give you some news. So while they're sleeping and my call is in about like 30 minutes, I thought it would be a good idea to update you on Mexico because you've been visiting houses with me and also Costa Rica because I've been talking about it for so long and now I was hesitating. I'm still hesitating between Mexico and Costa Rica and what's going on? Like what's going on? Am I buying in Canada? Am I buying in Mexico? Am I buying in Costa Rica? Like where am I going with that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys probably don't follow up because I don't follow up myself. <laughs> like I'm so confused and everything. But basically um, I thought I would be buying a house in Mexico or Costa Rica and uh, have also my house here, keep my house here to uh, spend winter there. Cause when it's winter here in Canada and it's COVID, I realized that it's so difficult to work. Like I shoot bikinis. So shooting bikinis here, even during summer, it's not that easy because I'm more into like traveling and having like, I'm really difficult on myself because I really love photography and everything. So I always feel like, oh, I need some palm trees and everything um, for my photos to be good. Like in my backyard, it's just not the same. <laughs> I don't know if you get what I mean. So during winter, it was just impossible here 
to be working and I've done it last winter because um, I was pregnant so I stayed here uh, from December so my like stopping traveling started when I got pregnant uh, around like end of November early December and not like when COVID started so it's like I stopped traveling for longer if I can say and I used to travel like two or three times a month so that was like a big thing so I was like okay doing it for like one winter it's gonna be fine but then it was super bad on Hoaka I did super bad just on Hoaka and also my own statistics in general because a lot of people have been following me for years because of traveling and always like looking for new destinations like cool hotel and things like that and then I just stopped doing it completely and yeah, that was just really bad. So I was thinking, we don't know like for how long the COVID is gonna be, so maybe I just should just move somewhere where I can still work, like do my bikini photos and blah blah. And all of the designing stuff and everything can be done anywhere in the world. So I feel like I could have done it anywhere. So that was basically the idea of having a house somewhere else. Um, but then uh, Canada closed its border and everything just got pretty fucked up and it's like you, I would just not be able to come back here for who knows how long. So imagine if it, I was just thinking like imagine it goes on for like two or three years, like we don't know it's a pandemic, it could go on for like 10 years or maybe it's gonna be ending next year. We just literally have no idea. So I was thinking, imagine like if I buy a house somewhere and then I get stuck there, or imagine I come back to Canada and I bought, buy a house somewhere else and then I just can't go because it's like COVID and Canada is closing its border. So imagine I can't go and I have a house there and I have to pay it and everything. That would be such a mess. So I feel like I'll be waiting for after COVID or I don't know if there's going to be an after COVID. That was really dramatic, but after like when we can start traveling like in a secure way, then I will probably be buying a house somewhere else because I might not be like traveling all over the world like I used to do before like two or three times a month. and like. Go, taking planes, blah blah, going somewhere for like two or three days just to get the best shots and then like coming back because it was just a campaign. Like that's something I can't really do with a baby with Wolfie. So I feel like having my own space somewhere then I can go for like six months and bring the dogs with me and then I come back to Canada and I spend summer with like my family and everything and even when I go somewhere else my family can come visit blah blah. So I feel like that's just gonna be the easiest way. So for now I feel like it's it would be a really bad idea to just buy something somewhere else and then get stuck there or stuck here and just not be able to use it properly. So that's pretty much it, that's what's going on. But I'm still hesitating between Mexico or Costa Rica. Um, that is still a big question. Cabo, Costa Rica, maybe Miami. I was thinking maybe Miami, but so many people told me how like I should not buy there. So now I'm just confused, like, oh, I no longer want to buy there. But also, like, I want to because, like, my grandparents were there, so that would be nice. But people gave me so many reasons not to. So it's Miami, Costa Rica, Mexico, or do you guys have any other ideas? I want somewhere that would be close to here, like, that I could literally take a one-way flight and maximum six hours. I moved my mirror right now. It's right here. That doesn't make sense at all. It's just because I needed to take some pics because we have a giveaway right now on Hoaka Apparel and I wanted to take some pics to promote it. So if you haven't participated yet, you must go participate on Hoaka Apparel because you could win a MacBook or a new iPhone, the color of your choice. Peace. <laughs> I just finished my call and I thought I would have like a better conclusion to this video but finally the lots that we wanted have been sold but um, but there's two other ones that we really want so my sister made an offer on one and it's like accepted like everything is fixed like she made the deposit and everything so she has that lot 
and the other one which would be for me there is one that i kind of want and another one that i'm like oh this is the one i want but the one i want there is someone who really wants it that already made an offer I don't think it's an offer, but they already said that they would want to buy it, but it's not like official. So he, the contractor just needs to make sure with this person if they put a deposit today or not. If not, I can do it. And if they do, then I'll lose it and I'll have to get another one. So I know that I'll have one, but I don't know which one. But it's still official. My sister already has hers. My parents has theirs. So we're basically gonna be all next to each other. So it's gonna be so much fun. Like just imagine like Wolfie and Akash meeting up in the street, taking their school bus together, going to knock at grandma and grandpa's door. Akash, by the way, is Wolfie's cousin. It's my sister's baby. They're the same age. They have like two months difference. They will go knock at my mom's door and they'll be like, grandma, we want some pie. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? We're all going to be next to each other. That's like life goals. <laughs> okay, so on that note, I'll leave you on that. I'll keep you very updated on my Instagram. I'll be posting a lot of inspirations. And as soon as I have the plans of my future house, I'll show you. I can't wait. I'm literally so excited. <laughs> okay, bye. Don't forget to subscribe.